on this computer. Okay, cool. So we have this for our training and we have this in here in our group. You look so short because you're all the way down there. down there. All right, I'm gonna, oh, I can't. No, okay, I can't. Um, this is, let's make sure you're on the screen. Okay, there. Okay, this is my husband, Bob. Everybody say hi that's watching. You, you only have 19 people. There's 500 people in the group, but 19 are watching. Maybe more will come on once they see you. Um, okay, so I wanted to talk about several things, and I have some, some stuff here. And we really didn't plan this call because I really wanted it to be, what was the word you used before? Um, like in the moment or off the cuff or whatever. Because that's what this is. Like you can talk about something when you don't prepare for it because you're passionate about it and it's, you're speaking the truth. So lots and lots of you have husbands out there that maybe don't understand what we're doing. Maybe they don't support you in what you're doing because, um, Desiree said, run, Bob, run. <laughs> um, yes, I have my pajama pants on. Um, maybe they don't support you because they don't understand or they think that word pyramid scheme or, you know, just the word pyramid. And these are all things that he thought also. I just want to give you a tiny bit of background about my husband. For those of you that don't know him, um, he, <clears throat> he is a finance guy. <clears throat> he loves to budget. <laughs> He's going to get embarrassed. <clears throat> so am I. No, I have. Um, I just choked on my own spit. So he is such, I hate to use the word cheap, maybe frugal is a better word, or maybe just smart. Um, he has his Amex notifications set so that if I spend $25, 10, 10. oh, 10, $10, he's notified. So in the beginning of this journey, when I asked him if I could drink a shake that cost $130, you can imagine what he, he said to me. Um, he didn't really think it was necessary. Um, but rewind even before that, he and I found Beachbody when we found which program? Oh, P90X. <clears throat> like eight years ago, we found P90X on an infomercial and we bought it. And we did it together and we had okay results. I mean, and I say okay, at the time I thought they were great. But now I think they're only okay because we didn't follow really much of a nutrition plan and right. we didn't drink Shakeology. We heard Tony Horton talking about it all the time, but we thought we could get our own. And I think we did. I think we got like some random Walmart or GNC shake and we drank it. And I felt like I was starving when I was doing P90X. I remember just feeling hungry. Um, so fast forward another kid later and I was, um, I think, nursing him in the middle of the night, and I bought T25 off of the infomercial. And I got T25, and I started doing it, and I would hear Sean T talk about Shakeology. And then I saw a friend post about a challenge group with Shakeology. So I jumped into that. And I just wanted to try Shakeology. And it was actually the 21 Day Fix with Shakeology challenge pack. At the time, I had no idea what that meant. I just wanted Shakeology. I could care less about 21 Day Fix. I already had T25. So I said to him, I'm getting this. I want to try it. And one of the first things I told him was there's a 30 day money back guarantee. And he was like, okay, get ready to send it back on day 29. I remember him saying that. So I was all prepared to do that. And on um, day three, I think I signed up as a coach because I drank it. I felt it and I never wanted that feeling to go away. Um, and I said, trust me, I'm signing up as a coach. I just want the discount. A few days later, um, had some people interested. A few weeks later, challenge group. I had my first person ready to sign up as a coach because she felt the same way, wanted a discount. And then it was put into my head that I should sign up my spouse on the other side. So we chatted. Um, I think at that point, how did you feel? Um, well, I, yeah, I guess going back to what you were saying, I, yeah, initially I felt like, are we really going to spend this money? And But at the same time, I said, okay, it is only whatever, $100. And my thought was, there's nothing wrong with like dipping your toe in the water to see how something works. But if it doesn't, then we have to rechange our thought. 
so that was my initial thought, I guess, going into it. And then afterwards it was, I saw kind of your like commitment to it and how much you enjoyed like doing the programs, getting the results, um, and then seeing how you could help others, um, in how passionate you were. So I said, okay, it's probably more, even if it is, you know, money that I didn't anticipate it, we can cut back in other places. Cause again, it's not like it's an insane amount of money. Um, and obviously it was, you know, helping from a health standpoint and helping, um, you know, your passion of doing something else other than, you know, raising kids. So before that though, he was a skeptic about drinking it. And when I signed him up as a coach, um, I'm going to read these comments after. When I signed him up as a coach, it was more for the business of someone told me you should sign up your spouse first. And when I started feeling great, I wanted him to drink it also. So I said, look, you need to just drink a shake every morning because this was his, his program before. This was his routine. Get up, rush out the door, maybe grab a granola bar, go to work go to Chick-fil-A because it was in the parking lot and that was just super close or pack a sandwich, but it was definitely Chick-fil-A or the deli down the street. We don't even have delis in Florida. So it was like one of those no, kind, of, kind of like delis. Um, and then come home and pile his plate with whatever I made for dinner. So that it was his routine and he barely worked out maybe two or three times a week, maybe once during the week and on the weekend once or twice. Um, so I said to him, look, I'm going to challenge you. You're going to drink one shake a day. I'm going to make it for you. So I would get up in the morning and I had my shake right after my workout and I made his also. And to this day, he still makes it himself now the exact same way, which is what? Exactly. 15 ounces of water. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Um, half a banana, frozen banana, um, a purple container of blueberries, a purple container of either spinach or kale. Because purple and green containers are the same size. Yes, because purple and green are the same size, yes. Um, How many ice cubes? Uh, six. He has it down to a science. Um, uh, Shakeology, obviously, and then a scoop of, of PB2. And same way it. every day. So you can see that his, his Shakeology is like legit a meal because it's your red, it's two greens, it's a purple, and a teaspoon. Um, so every single day, that was his shake. I just shake. didn't want to dirty multiple containers. That's why I would use purple. Oh, the green and the purple yes. are the same size. He's He's got it. He's running his next challenge group for men next month. No, just kidding. <laughs> um, so, okay. So he, for two months, I made him that concoction of shake mix every single day. A Shakeology. He would take a drink on his way to work because he drives an hour, hour and a half. And after two months... He lost 20 pounds by doing nothing else different. So he was a believer because he was a product of the product. He drank the shake every single day for two months and lost 20 pounds. And felt good. And felt great. And rewind, because we forgot to say this, but he, you had a physical. Yes. And this was one of the reasons why he agreed to drink the Shakeology and didn't fight me on it. What happened with the physical? What were the two bad things that showed up on your physical? Well, the high, I guess the high bad cholesterol was one, and then the other one was yeah. elevated blood pressure. Elevated blood, yeah, elevated blood pressure, and then Billy Rubin problem. But yeah. Well, yeah, that's just like a syndrome I'm thing born, you're born with. I guess. Okay, so it was the cholesterol and the blood pressure. So he decided, okay, I'll drink this magic shake that you keep talking about. So two months, twenty pounds. And then he decided, okay, I feel really good. What is this 21 day fix thing? Because at this point I had done 225 for like three days and I decided to do this thing in my challenge group that everyone was talking about. So I did 21 day fix and you guys know my story already. So I'm not going to bore you with that. But two months after losing 20 pounds, he did the 21 day fix legit. I would do mine and then he would work out after me and do his. And he sat, we sat down, we created meal plans. He ate and he still does to this day, a very similar meal plan three years later, all the containers that are allotted for his plan D or whatever it is with the 21 day fix, the highest one. Um, and he lost another 25 pounds. So in four months, 45 pounds, drinking a shake only for two months and then 21 day fix and the nutrition. 
So he went back to the doctor six months later and even the doctor, the physical results were totally, everything was normal. Mm -hmm. And so you can see that you can get your husbands to trust the program if they do the program, just like us. I mean, I wasn't a believer in it either. To be honest with you, I thought we could, you know, go to Costco or go to Walgreens or GNC and buy a protein shake. And I'm embarrassed to say that we've tried Slim Fast and a whole other, if you know my story, you know all the things that I tried. So long story short is the best way to get your husband to support you with this program is to have them do it. Have them drink a shake every day. Challenge them to look, trust me, support me, do me a favor, take the shake challenge that we tell our challengers to take, right? Challenge them to a, a week. Um, <laughs> challenge them to, I have these comments are adorable. Um, challenge them to a week, challenge them to a month and start off slow, like start off with just the shake. Then maybe incorporate some of the workouts. Then maybe do the containers. I mean, I remember sitting down with him and he's like, okay, I have a dinner and here's the restaurant. And we would sit down and we would look at the menu and he would literally be like, okay, I'm ordering this because it's a red, a green, and a purple. I'm going to ask for that on the side. And like the first month was hard, but now it's like, he just does it. No, he doesn't do the 21 day fix workouts anymore. He does body beast. I can't get him to do anything else. I did 21 day extreme before. Oh, you did. Oh, that's right. We did extreme before 80 day. Um, a lot of food. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so anyway, the best way to get your spouse to support you in what you're doing is that. So now fast forward to what actually the coaching support, because I know a lot of you, especially when you first start out um, coaching, it's a lot of work in the beginning. I mean, nobody said that this is easy. It's, it's simple, right? Coaching is simple. You do the four vital behaviors but it's not easy. There's a lot of time. There's a lot of effort. There's a lot of energy. There's a lot of phone time and computer time. And it takes away from your family or from your spouse or from the other things that you were spending your time doing. Um, so sometimes your spouse can feel slighted by that. I think, what are, what are some of the things that you have to say about that? Like, I think it's really important to just communicate and say, okay, Monday nights, like he knows every Monday night I have a call at 8.30. Mm -hmm. So he knows to get home in time. He knows to help with the kids. Um, other nights throughout the week, you know, he knows, We, I tell him, I try to tell him, you know, the things that I have, if it's, you know, a coach live, coach opportunity call. Um, we, we definitely work well in, you know, that, that aspect. Sometimes on the weekends I have, you know, I tell him the weekends are the time when people want to move on this. Like a lot of times they want to buy a challenge pack on the weekend. So I might have to stop what I'm doing if we're in the middle of Disney World and at least like message them back and say, hey, you know, I'll get back to you with, because that's when people are hot. Like people are hot on times that unfortunately don't necessarily work for us. Um, and I'm not saying you need to make yourself available to people all the time, but just, make sure you're communicating with your spouse so that they know what and why you're doing what you're doing. Um, what are, you know, what are your, some of the things that you want to say about what I just said there about like, I don't know why you not let me do what I do. It's not a let thing. It's, I mean, we have a 50, 50 relationship. I think we've always had. Um, one thing I want to say too, is before all of this, he was the sole provider. I've been a stay-at-home mom for 10 years. Um, so what, what do you want to say about, about that? It was nice for me to do something that I had passion about or, I mean, yeah. what? Yeah I, yeah, I guess I would say that is, I guess, exactly that, which is if you didn't like what you're doing, then, you know, why spend so much time at it, you know? No, every, everybody's not as fortunate as having, you know, an opportunity to go to do what they love every day. You know, some people just have to go to a job and like collect, collect a paycheck and all that good stuff. Um, but uh, I mean, that's, I guess that's the thing is you're passionate about something. How could you turn somebody off from not allowing them to do it? You know? So yeah, obviously, like you said, it's, it's somewhat part of the, of um, kind of like what you do. You just have to, your significant other, your spouse just has to know, like, it's just a, that relationship, that communication, like, hey, I need 10 minutes. Could you just, you know, get the kids breakfast or something? I got to handle something. Okay. I mean, it's not. It's just being 
open and, and right, honest rather than trying to hide it. Correct. So like when I'm looking at yeah, my don't phone, hide he knows exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, like, yeah. Don't hide it. That's the worst because then you just feel like you're just not paying attention. Right, right. Um, okay, so then the other thing, and I have, I have some notes here. Let me just, um, what else were we going to say? Let's see. Uh, we did all of that. Okay, and then the importance of enrolling your spouse, like I was talking about before, like your spouse should be your first or second coach that you enroll as, as a coach because of the business part of it. Whether you, first of all, your, your spouse should be drinking Shakeology. I, I'm, I'm going to stand hard and firm on that because if you're drinking it, like I said before, he wasn't a believer at first. Your spouse should. I, I believe all of your children should be drinking Daily Sunshine. I mean, this is what we stand for. This is healthy. This is clean eating. Um, so your spouse should be right there with you. And if they're not, have them watch this. You know, talk to them about it. Share with them the importance of all of the ingredients. I want every single family member of mine to drink it because it is so healthy. It's like, I say this all the time to people, and this is gonna show my, my age, but Super Mario Brothers, when he gets the star, it's like you feel invincible. Like he can break through all the brick and nobody can stop him. Like I literally feel like that every single day being on this whole entire plan. The Shakeology, the clean eating, the working out, all three of them. And the only difference this time is the nutrition part. Like before we were doing the workouts with P90X and we never had the full picture. I never had the ridiculous energy at nine o'clock at night. I never had this passion to get up and do it all again every single day. So like Shakeology is a huge part for three and a half years, both of us still feeling like this. Um, it says a lot. And then, you know, just providing your husband with the, the reason to drink it, all of the all of the ingredients, the amazing Shea Stanford videos, we have them all on our team website. Um, but going back to the business part of it and enrolling your coach as one of your top legs, and, and there's, there's videos and there's rationale as to weak or strong, what side you should put them on, and we can talk about that at another time, or you can ask your coach about that. Um, but my husband doesn't do a thing as a beach body coach. He doesn't understand the business, and just because I, he hasn't had time. Like I wish one day I could have him work his business. Um, he is actually a one-star diamond. Yep. <laughs> um, so anyway, it's really important to enroll your coach, your spouse, as one of your first coaches because whether you work his business right off the bat or not, you're going to eventually put coaches under him because the first time that I became a one-star diamond, he was my diamond that turned me one-star diamond, and I could control that. So I was already a diamond coach, so I wanted to be a one-star diamond, so I made him a diamond coach. So he has coaches under his account that I put there. He doesn't do a thing with his business. I created an email for him. I do everything for his business center. I log into his business center. I log into his email. He logs into his email to get his Beachbody on demand when he's, he's at the gym because we do have two separate Beachbody on demand accounts. You don't have to. We just, that's the way we set it up. Um, before he was even, a, like before Beachbody on demand came out, we were buying DVDs. I think he bought the Body Beast Challenge Pack when you um, enrolled as a coach. But anyway, we have two separate Shakeology orders every month coming in. Um, but the reason you really want to enroll him as, as a coach on that side is because eventually when you get him to Emerald and to Ruby and to Diamond, you can start earning that team bonus. And that is basically cycle bonus from team volume that you eventually don't have to do a thing in his business center when you establish it. And you can collect a paycheck anywhere between $500 and $1,000 a week. And he does nothing. And I don't even put Success Club in his business center anymore. It doesn't happen overnight. It's a lot of work. But I'm telling you that you're going to be kicking yourself if you don't put him there now, especially if he is drinking Shakeology. And I can tell you, we get three Shakeologies a month to our house and two daily sunshines. Three Shakeologies because one, two, and then I like to have an extra for making treats or sometimes we have a second or we have a Shakeology bowl or, you know, so 
if you're concerned about, oh, I'm going to have too much Shakeology, you're a coach. Like you never will. I send out samples. The third, the third Shakeology I get is the box of the packets because I always like to have them for samples to go. Um, and I know that's a lot to like say to yourself, okay, I can't have three Shakeologies. And you don't have to in the beginning. Your first goal as a coach should be to get your own Shakeology paid for. And by helping two to three people a month, that's cake. So your second goal should be to get his Shakeology paid for. So you want to help two to three more people a month. And that's actually, that's SC10, which for many of you is your non-negotiable goal every month is SC10. He doesn't even know what I'm talking about right now. Success Club. Success Club. Yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, another like little tiny thing that I just wanted to say about, you know, all of that we just talked about is we... A lot of us, um, before Beachbody, before anything, if we wanted to extend or advance our career, we go back to school, right? We get our master's degree, or we go back and we change our whole degree and we get our four, another four-year degree. And we work our asses off in college. Think about when you were in college. Your parents paid between 10 and 20 grand a year, and you weren't even guaranteed a job at the end of the four years. You hoped and you prayed that you got one. So you worked your ass off for four years, you paid at least 10 grand a year, and you weren't even guaranteed a job. Here you are in this incredible opportunity. The income potential is not promised, but it's, the potential is amazing. Consistency over four years, if you gave this the consistency that you gave your college degree, you're guaranteed, like, if you show up, do the vitals every single day, I can guarantee you at the end of those four years, you're going to see something incredible happen right before your eyes. Because I'm only at three and a half years. And I don't have any, <laughs> Laura Katina working for Basher. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to read these at the end. But um, I can guarantee you, if you do this and you put in your effort and your energy and everything that you need to do and everything that's in the trainings, you're going to have an income that is substantial and worth it if you put in the amount of time that you put into that four-year degree that you weren't even guaranteed anything. And you're making money along the way if you're doing the four vitals and you're helping two to three people a month. So it's like a win-win because you're helping yourself. Yourself, your spouse, that's your first and foremost. You, you have your transformation. You get to your place of comfort with your with your physical and with your nutrition and your health. And then everything you, else that you do is, is amazing. And you start helping more and more people. And that's just the icing on the cake. Um, so, you know, keep all of that in mind. Um, did you want to add anything else about what I said? I know I, I tend to talk way too much. But <laughs> what else did, did you want to say? Look at all the, the, the smiles. Again. I'm going to look at no. the questions, but go ahead. I, I guess I would just say that, um, you know, like, whether it's a coach or a spouse of a coach or whatever, would just be, you know, if you're passionate about something, um, you know, as a spouse, I would just say, just allow that to happen. I guess my mentality was, okay, I'll let her, in fact, we use the term, dip her toe in the water, see how this thing goes before she basically kind of like jumps all in. Now, I would say that as that progressed and as I saw, how committed and passionate you were, that was obviously exciting because that doesn't happen, as I said before, to a lot of people, no matter what they're doing. Um, so just my recommendation would just be from like a spouse standpoint, you know, let your wife or husband try it and, you know, see what they get out of it, just, you know, from a passionate standpoint. We have a question from someone that says, um, I agree, but how do you get them to drink it? I've had him try it and he just turns his nose up. Well, Why I guess my you... question would end up being, is that just because like the, the taste or is it the, oh, it's just a, a shake and I don't like shakes. I mean, because I can tell you, my shake tastes great. And I, <laughs> I, I mean, so unless you don't like, like, I, I almost just correlate it to a smoothie. Okay. So You're looking at me, look at them. I'm sorry. So <laughs> right up there. I correlate to a smoothie. So if you don't like smoothies, okay. Or, or ice cream shakes. Or, right? or milkshakes. Ice, yeah. Or you don't like that, then it might be tough. Okay. But I mean, I can drink it with, 
without those ingredients. I can drink it just as Shakeology with water and ice, which I have to when I'm traveling. So I... I don't, I don't know what to say to that. I definitely then, snuck the kale in when he needed extra green containers. Um, but but yeah. now he puts it in himself. And if we don't have kale, spinach. I mean, right. that's just like a no-brainer, easy vegetable because he has to have like eight vegetables a day. Yeah. So to me, the taste is very good. And I'd be surprised that... And you started way, off as an avid vanilla and now yeah. you've switched to chocolate. But I, I, like, I mean, yeah, but I can drink vanilla. And you love cafe latte that, so. too. Um, but um, yeah, I would just say... It, I, I'd be surprised, I'd be really surprised if a person didn't like it when you mix like the, the fruits and stuff. I think that men, and you're sitting right here and most, 90% of the people watching this are women. Um, oh, Joe is watching. Oh, hi, Joe. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, so I think that men are stubborn um, and they don't want to be told what to do, especially when it comes to their health. So you really have to sit down with them and talk to them and say, look, I want you to be healthy. I want you to live a long life. I want you to be around for my children. I remember when I was little. Plus the energy level. Plus the energy level. It was huge. was a big change. And that's just something you have to experience. Um, look at all the love we're getting. But I'm gonna, this just came into my head. I remember when I was little, um, my father used to smoke cigars. And my late father, a lot of you know that I lost my father. Um, and I remember when I was little, my brother and I told him that we wanted him to stop smoking cigars because we wanted him to be around to see our children. And I think he stopped smoking cigars the next day. So sometimes it just takes like the right words said by the right person. So if you need to get like someone else involved, like maybe your husband's sister or your husband's friend or your husband's mother or father to help you say, look, you need to start taking better care of yourself. Because sometimes I can tell him things and sometimes I can tell all of you guys things as coaches and maybe you don't hear it, but then you hear another coach say it on like the national wake up call or, or Lindsay Matway or somebody else. And you're like, guess what so-and-so said to do. And I'm like, I've been saying that forever. Or like, I've been telling you to put that there forever. And you just figured that out. Like sometimes it just takes someone else saying the same thing. Um, and especially when it's your spouse, like there's like a little bit of a competitive thing with spouses sometimes. Like they want to be the first one to find it or they don't want you telling them what to do and what not to do. So, you know, reach out. Um, and Colleen, I, I answered your question on that, I, I hope. Um, I mean, and if your husband wants to like call mine on the phone or if you want to set up a Zoom call, like we'll do that because this guy was stubborn too and his father is so I'm so stubborn. stubborn. His mother drinks Shakeology every day and his father won't. And his father is having triple bypass surgery in a couple, in a week. And it's like, hello, maybe after that surgery, maybe he'll wake up and be like, yeah, I should drink Shakeology every day. Um, but you know, you can only do what you can do, but you, you need to do this for you first. And those of you that are on this call watching and your husbands are not supportive, kudos to you for sticking around and continuing to do this for you because they will see you, they will continue on your journey. I mean, when he started seeing me like progress the way that I was progressing, he jumped into the 21 day fix, the girly program. I remember him saying, I'm not doing that girly program. And then after losing the weight, the first two months from just the shake, okay, let me try the girly program. Well, we all know autumn is pretty easy to look at. So that was easy. Um, but anyway, what else do you want to say? I, I want to read some of these other comments. Any, just. I know. I think I said everything. Somebody likes your Fire Island shirt. Um, <laughs> I love that Bob is doing this with you. The support from a spouse is so vital. Good job, Andrew. And there's my friend Joe. Oh my gosh. No idea. He likes chocolate. So I made a double chocolate and he still didn't like it. That's, you know, I, I, do, I can't believe that. I just can't. You've got that right. The other just day. Um, I think once they see your passion for health, yeah, it's, um, we've got a husband that realized, uh, helps him stay full while he is so busy at work. He was sold. That's awesome, Amy. Love that he could add peanut butter. And Adam and Joni, they are like the power couple. Oh, Amber says hi. She's in Michigan. Um, so anyone else have any other questions for my 
completely like he was he had me on such a budget before this that like that was my biggest concern was spending the money on Shakeology and still to this day he gets pinged when I spend ten dollars <laughs> um but yeah I think that the most important let's see my boyfriend got involved when I started being a product of the product that's the best thing that you can do right I can't be fat when you're smoking hot. I love it, Carrie. Did you already talk about being a penny pincher? Um, I missed the beginning. We did a little bit, but yeah, like what are some of the things that you that you did before when I like when we only had your sole income? Yeah, I well, so I had um, I couponed a lot. I spent so many hours mm -hmm. couponing. Yeah. Remember, I had kind of the Excel worksheet that outlined, all right, here's the categories of spend, for example. Mm -hmm. um, and then as it relates to, like, the, the credit card stuff, I actually funded your debit account and said, okay, you can't exceed X mm -hmm. <laughs> per I week. had a specific amount per uh, week that or, I had to yeah. spend on food and groceries and, well, that's the same thing. So, and right, other, other things. things just, yeah, like, like, yeah, stuff. Pretty yeah. much everything. Uh-huh. Um, I just thought of something and I and remember your card would get rejected when you couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see what else about the penny pitching. There was something else that I was going to say about that and I forgot. Um, oh, well, we kind of mentioned it all, but so yeah, what other questions? Cause I know that there were a lot of, of spouses that, um, you know, just don't get it because they think it's a pyramid scheme. What would you say about that? Like, did you think it was a pyramid scheme before? No, because I, I, I guess I correlate a pyramid scheme to something that's not tangible. Th and I that's, guess, that's I, the definition. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So if you think about, to me, the true definition of, you know, like Ponzi scheme, it's, it's fictitious, obviously in the world of like finance, it's fictitious gains that you get by um, almost showing that you're making a profit on things, you're making gains on stocks when there's, when there's, when there's not, it's all just, it's all, it's all basically math through paper, okay? Um, but this is a product, right? There's actually something tangible, whether it's Shakeology or the workouts or actually physical results coming from the programs. Um, to me, uh, it's hard to, that, to say that that's a Ponzi scheme because it's not, if it's just true, something tangible, results coming from something unlike fictitious paper in the finance world. Right, which is the total definition and the difference between a pyramid scheme and a pyramid like we are a pyramid just like he actually works every one of you every one of you worked in a pyramid type layout everybody had a president or a ceo and then there were assistants and then other workers and then you know the mailroom like that's how every you know sort of company is but our our company is everybody's the same yeah it's a pyramid but like I enroll a coach after you enroll and it actually helps you. So there's no scheme. It's, it's, we all work together. And the beauty of it is, is that the more our whole team does well and the more volume we have, it helps everyone. And that's the part of the business that he doesn't understand. And you know, if he gets in, I know I have a strong it, leg. <laughs> you have a strong leg. Okay. Um, where's all the smiles for that one? It's like delayed a few seconds. Oh, okay. No, probably not. Gotcha. Loves and, and smiles for that. But um, one of the things he loved in the beginning, here they come. One of the things he loved in the beginning was the discount. I mean, as soon as you sign up as a coach, it's like, okay, 25% off. So somebody had said, oh my gosh, you pay 130. No, we don't. We pay 25% off. So if you want that for you, you're a coach and that's why you're here. And then your husband also, you know, they're going to get their own Shakeology. And the 25% off, obviously, look, we're getting all the likes and the loves for your strong legs. <laughs> um, so anyway, any, any other questions, comments? Um, if you ever have any, you know, you can always ask us, but have your husbands watch this. I mean, he definitely is one of the tightest, most frugal. Oh, I know what I wanted to say about the penny pinching. Whenever we buy anything like a car or a dishwasher or a refrigerator or a couch, it's not just go to the store and buy it. This guy researches and does like 
15 washers and dryers and finds the best place and the best deal to get it. So when we started this whole thing, when I started this whole thing with Shakeology, it was like, I knew that I had his support because I know how he is. I know his track record of, you know, spending money on things and committing to something. Um, and because I provided him, like I remember the video I showed him of Shea Stanford's where it just shows you all of the amazing, incredible, you know, ingredients and everything that you get from, from drinking Shakeology. Um, so just show your husband what you're doing. Just tell them what you're doing. Show them your desk with all of your stuff and your challenge groups and your follow-up lists and your calendar and your two computers and your light and like what it's all about. So they know there's no reason to hide. This is health. We're not selling and I have nothing against it, but we're not selling, you know, nails or leggings or, you know, we're selling health. We're selling years on people's lives. Um, and you have no shame in that, like absolutely no shame in sharing that. And that's why I talk about it and I'm so passionate about it and you guys should be too. So I'm going to end it on that. Except Stacy Shoemaker says, Greg says, I call that phobo what's that is that like a libra thing i don't know phobia um oh thanks for the info lori and bob i keep saying there is an immense untapped potential for guys i agree with you 100 percent. i meant to say that carrie like i don't understand why this is such a women there are some there are several successful male coaches but we dominate and i don't know why um because you're right you know, we have a husband challenge tracker app, but nobody uses it. So maybe Carrie, you and I could head that up. Um, fear of better options. Oh, fear of better options is what Greg, Greg says. says. Oh, okay. I could see that. Um, and I also think it's just like men in general, they just hate to be, they hate to be told what to do. Wouldn't, wouldn't you agree? Or some are just stubborn and stuck in their ways. <laughs> Yeah, right. A lot of men are. Yeah. Not flexible, whatever. Yeah. So support, tell your husband what you're doing, show them this video, and that's it. All right, I'm going to stop my Zoom call over here so it um, 